Ryan Nietzsche ist einer der besten Trials-Fahrer der Welt. Nachdem er sein Contest-Shirt an den Nagel gehängt hat, ist er jetzt ständig auf der Suche nach der ultimativen Route und demonstriert der Welt die Skills und die Technik des trail -Ridens. Er ist ein Gigant unter den Giganten der Trial-Welt und ist jedem ein Begriff, der schon mal von trial -Riden gehört hat. I started mountain biking sort of by chance. I was just hanging out with my buddies. We were bored and decided to ride our bikes in the forest across the street from where I grew up and just rode through the puddles and over the bumps and through the woods. And it was a blast. You know, I had so much fun. From that point on, I was pretty much hooked. Started cross country racing, downhill racing, and then came across trials, thought I could do it. And it was, you know, from then on in, it was uh, a challenge, a passion and no turning back. The trials riding can be described as free riding, you name it. I mean, it's a pretty loose term. Generally, it's tied to mountain biking on pretty gnarly trails and, you know, big airs and whatnot, which has become Vancouver's reputation as the world's best place to go mountain bike free riding. The mountain biking here in Vancouver, namely the North Shore Mountains, has become world-renowned. People all over the world actually mimic the style of trails that are built here in Vancouver's North Shore. You know, people love getting into the mountains. We have access to them, easy access, so people are up in the mountains mountain biking on trails and whatnot. Most of the big name filmmakers in mountain biking, photographers, a lot of the, the pros all seem to be based here in Vancouver and got everything you need for, as a trials rider. It's got, you know, some of the best urban riding you can find, you know, all sorts of concrete, ledges, edges, railings, you know, you name it. We got a very cooperative police officers so we can ride downtown and not get busted every time we try anything. So that's a good thing. You know, it's not as popular as places like England in the UK where it's all city it's all urban you know the riders pretty much have no choice but to ride urban so therefore there's a whole bunch more trials riders in areas like this you've got to have a high level of respect for the architecture that you're riding on you don't want to cause damage it's pretty obvious to to me but to a newcomer into the sport that might be young they're so focused on the riding that they might overlook the property keep the rubber on the concrete not the bash guard not the pedals a trials bike is very, a fairly simple tool, not too much complicated suspension involved with a trials bike. So, but you know, it's 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 amazing what technology can do for uh, for your riding. There's so many projects that that I do sort of outside of riding. I'm on the computer constantly typing a story for a magazine or working actually I just finished editing an instructional DVD on trials riding called How to Master the Art of Trials. So that's going to be released pretty soon. So there's I mean there's tons of teaching mountain mountain biking, teaching trials riding. So there's a whole bunch of different things that that I do as a as a pro that sort of uh, help promote the sport and get more people into it.